Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Shall do what? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. And thou shalt discontinue from thine heritage. See that? That's why you don't know who you are, because you discontinue from your heritage. Your name was something like Ezekiel and Jeremiah. And they say, no, boy, it's Toby. No, boy, your name ain't no Hezekiah, it's Charles. Then you say, no, 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 my name is Hezekiah, what happened? Straight across the back, yep, after so many of that, yeah, my name Toby. Yes, I forgot who I am now. Now you proud of it. You kidnap anybody in the town up in your basement, and then you let them loose. They'll leave the fire there. Well, we lose. Why do we don't want to leave this place? Why do we love the people that put us in captivity? Complete backwards. We will turn completely against who we truly are as a people. Leave that again, Ock. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. That I gave thee. You will discontinue from your heritage. And now y'all don't want to hear it. Same thing when the prophets was here. They was killing the prophets. I don't see nobody touching any of these false pastors, any of these false crooked bishops, TV snakes, cruff no clown dollar, or a lot of these clowns. But the true prophets, they was killing them. The true prophets, they was killing them. Give me Ezekiel 22 and 25. And all you got to do is read the book. It's right there. Ezekiel 22 and 25. Read the book and you'll see for yourself. Ezekiel 22 and 25. There's a conspiracy of her prophets. There's a conspiracy of her who? Of her prophets. Of her prophets, go ahead. Like a roaring lion, raving in the prey. They have devoured souls. They have devoured souls. So these same priests or prophets or bishop or pastor, whichever one you want to call it, are devoured souls, go ahead. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have taken the treasures and the precious things. Your pastors take the stuff from you every week. You barely can get there. He riding on a caddy. You barely can get there. And you talking about the Lord, he a man of God. And the Lord blessing him. No, you blessing him, because you giving him your money. Go ahead. They have taken the treasures and the precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. Go ahead. Her priests have violated my law. Her priests have been what? Her priests have violated my law. Now why would the priests violate the law? Why would the priests violate the law when they're supposed to uphold it and keep it? Read. And have profaned my holy thing. And have profaned my holy thing. Why would the priest again do this? Something crooked going on, man. History repeats itself. They doing the same thing now as they was doing thousands of years ago. Go ahead. They have put no difference between the holy and the profane. Put no difference between the holy and the profane. They the same. Go ahead. King James, right. Ezekiel 23, Ezekiel 22 and 26. Go ahead. Neither have they shown any difference between the unclean and the clean. No difference between the clean and the unclean. Again, we went in Leviticus 11, and he showed you what to eat and what not. Just pray over it. Drop it in oil, then just pray over it. It'll be all right. In the same token, you went around disease infested. What kind of sense does that make? Absolutely none. You know? And have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. From what? Have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. What is that? Hiding your eyes from the Sabbath. This means you don't want to know. You know what it is. You know what it is. 
eyes be and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Who is the Sabbath? Today. Who? Today. Tomorrow. Today. The first day. The seventh day. The seventh day of the week. He said, the priest have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. Go ahead. And I have profaned among them. The most I say is profaned among the pastors, the bishops, the elders, the priests, the teachers, whatever you want to call them. Give me, um, give me Ezekiel 34. Give me Ezekiel 34. Verse 1. Ezekiel 34, 1. And the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Against who? Against the shepherds of Israel. What's a shepherd? A pastor. What's a shepherd? A pastor. What's a shepherd? A pastor. Read on. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Most High Power, unto the shepherds, Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel. Woe be unto the shepherds, to the pastors, to the bishops, the priests, the prophets, whichever one you want to call them, the reverend. Go ahead. Woe be unto the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. That do, do what? That do feed themselves. That do drive a caddy. Go ahead. And do not. The shepherds feed the flocks. Why you don't feed the flock? Why is your living so much greater than theirs? The Messiah was poor. He made himself poor. When he fed the, the multitude, he fed them, not himself. It's completely backwards, man. We know. Ye eat the fat and clothe you with wool. You eat the fat and clothe yourself with the finest suit from City Slicker. You get the finest stuff. You walk around in Gators, and they barely can get the church. 3,600 churches. 3,600 churches, and the hood falling apart. Nonsense. We know you kill them that are fed, but you feed not the flock. But you feed not the flock. Go ahead. The disease have you not strengthened. You don't strengthen the disease. Neither have you healed that which was sick. You don't strengthen that which was which is sick. Go ahead. Neither have you bowed up that which was broken. Go ahead. Neither have you brought again that which was driven away. Go ahead. Neither have you sought that which was lost. That which was lost. The children of Israel are lost. We are lost people. They haven't sought to bring us back. In no way, shape, or form, they have a self to bring us back. Go ahead. But with force and with cruelty have he ruled them. So when you read, you say, well, that's not force and cruelty. When you read Malachi 3 to them, in the way that you put it, and tell them that they're robbing the Most High, that's with force and cruelty. We'll be back. Exactly.